Hi there, Peter Finch here, teaching professional down at Trafford Golf Centre in Manchester. And I'm just doing a video today on fat putter grips. I've had quite a few people coming in for lessons and a few people leaving comments on YouTube and on my website as well about fat putter grips and how to best use them. So I'm getting quite a few people down for lessons with these grips, but then they're using them exactly the same as they did their old grips as well. And they're not quite getting the benefit out of them that they should do. Now, fat putter grips, this is a super stroke fat, so one of the biggest ones you can get. Obviously, there are lots of other leading brands out there, but this fat so putter grip, one of the biggest you can get, it has a lot of benefits. And I'm just gonna give you a quick rundown of how you can actually make the most out of it. Now, with a normal putter and with a normal putting grip, if you're a conventional style putter, your right hand will be below the left on the grip like this. Now, what that actually does, you can see it tilts the shoulders away from the target, brings the right hand a little bit lower and the left hand a little bit higher. Now what that means is the right hand can become too dominant because it's the lower hand, it's the stronger hand, it can force the putter, can flick at it and also cause that left wrist to break down through impact. Now what the fat grips do, the Superstroke or any other brand, it allows you to bring the thumbs very close together, pretty much opposite each other like this. And then at the back, it allows you to cup the hands, almost like you're holding some water kind of in your hands, not letting any slip out. It allows you to cup your hands at the back like this, get the thumbs level at the front, and as you put the putter down, that automatically brings the shoulders nice and level, and it allows you to rock the shoulders just back and through like a pendulum stroke. Pendulum motion, back and through, back and through. And you can actually keep this triangle created between the arms and the shoulders as one unit. And again, just rock them back and through. You can extend the arms down. And that's the best way to use these fat grips, the best way to utilize that kind of extra width in the handle to get those hands together, bring the shoulders on a nice level plane and just rock them back and through. Now, drawbacks because there are a couple. Now you see these super strokes, these kind of fat grips, start to come out on tour and then migrate into the amateur game, which is obviously a way a lot of things happen. The difference between the pros and the amateurs, they put on surfaces, they put on greens, which is very fast and very smooth, which suit a very pure pendulum stroke and a rock over the shoulders. Now, as you know, playing this time of year, although today's not a great example because it's absolutely glorious here in Manchester, but at the moment, the weather's not perfect, the greens are a little bit slow, and it's very hard to have a pure pendulum stroke and actually feel the ball over long distances through this thickness of grip. So if you're faced with, say, a 30-foot putt on very slow greens, using this Fatso grip or any kind of big grip like this, it takes almost feels like you've got to absolutely whack it to get it that far along the green. So the longer the putt and the slower the green, the harder it is to use this kind of grip because you don't get the feedback through the actual handle into the hands that you do with a normal standard size grip. Because you can see the difference here in the actual thickness. You're going to get a lot more feel through the hands with this one. This one takes a little bit of feel out of the hands, but it also takes the wrists and a little bit of the flickiness out of the hands as well. So it's a way up between what you really want. In the middle of the summer when the greens are running great, then the fat so grip's going to be great all the time. In the winter when they're running slow, the thinner grip might actually suit you a little bit better. But in general, there are so many benefits to using this fat grip. If you've not had a go with one, I recommend just asking your pro or asking someone who's got one to be able to give, have a go with it on a green and just see how you get on. But using this width of grip on a nice, quick, smooth green is an absolute great way to bring those shoulders level and just produce a pure pendulum stroke. So give it a go. Thanks very much for watching. Uh, please subscribe to my channel. Feel free to leave any comments in the boxes below. I try to get back to anyone who comments. Uh, feel free to like the video, uh, share it around, follow me on Facebook and Twitter as well, and it'd be great to hear some feedback. So thanks very much for watching, and I'll see you down here next time, hopefully with a bit more of this sunshine. It'll be absolutely epic. See you down here soon.